Sí. Hey, jugaste. ¿Cómo?
Okay, my friends, welcome back to another English class. Um, going to check in a moment who is here connected and ready to begin the class. I know <clears throat> some of you maybe are moving because of the traffic or the or the time that you left your job, right? Okay, I'm checking the ones that have told me that you had difficulties. I'm checking the messages that you send me. I know it's Friday, kind of complicated day. Okay, uh, thank you. Okay, Alex, that you told me that you're not feeling good. <clears throat> Ernest, you, you are saying that you're driving okay. When you get home, please let me know, Ernest. So in that case, you can participate when you get home. Okay. Okay, I'm going to give a couple of seconds <clears throat> so the other participants can connect. Let me check some things that I have here. Just give me a second. So let's check, okay? Um, class number 12, how to use would be better. That's a very common phrase that you can use, uh, especially when you're giving some advice, some suggestions, or even solutions, okay? This is the class number 12. I'm sorry, here I have class 12. This is intermediate. Um one. So let's see if you are there. Um Alex is not here, right? But Roxana, hello there. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Everything okay? Yep. Yes. Okay, thank you. What about um Denise? Hi, Denise. I don't know if you're available. <clears throat> If Hi, teacher. Want... I'm going to be available, but at at in a half an hour. Okay, 
Okay, let I, me know. I can't be participating. Okay, okay let okay. me know okay. when you are okay. Thank you. Uh, Morelia? Yes, Morelia is there, right? Oh, yes, yes. We are just checking who is connected. So, Morelia, you tell me if you are there. And we have also Vicky, right? Hello, Vicky. Good Hello. evening. Okay, perfect. Thank you. I'm just checking who is here. Robert. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Thank sure. you. I'm, thank you. Thank you. I'm just checking who is here because some of you are having some difficulties to be in class. Okay. Intermediate one, class number 12. Okay. We are almost at the, at the in the middle. <clears throat> and here we have this. Okay. Um, the days before, and we have studied how to ask, how are you, right? In different forms. How are you doing? How was your day? How is everything? And also we studied different ways to say, fine. You can say on the top of the world, couldn't be better. Uh, mm, so far so good. I'm alive. Also, we studied ways to say thank you. I appreciate. Thanks a bunch. I mean, your depth. Uh, thanks a million. And now we have ways to say you're welcome. Formas para decir de nada. Okay, remember, we already studied ways to say um, thank you. So when a person says thank you or thanks so much, thanks a, a million, and so on, we can use some other phrase to respond or to answer to that. For example, a person says, thank you. You can say, you're welcome. But also you can use, sure, no worries. You got it, got it. Como decir, got it, conté al final, got it. No problem, anytime. I'm happy to help. It's my pressure. Not at all. Don't mention it. Okay. I'm going to write the pronunciation of some of these ones can that can be confusing. Right. Like you got it. Got it. Okay. The other can be. It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. The, the other is not at all. Not at all. Okay. You got it. It's my pleasure. Not at all. Okay. This is like the pronunciation of these phrases. I know that some of them can seem like confusing, but well, it, it is not that difficult. Sure significa seguro, no worries, no, no te preocupes, you got it, es como que ya lo tienes, no problem, you know, anytime es cuando quieras, I'm happy to help, estoy feliz de ayudar, it's my pleasure, un placer, not at all, significa para nada, eh? don't mention it, ni lo menciones, ok, in my case, I like to say anytime, so if some of you have uh, texted me, and you tell me, thank you, teacher. And you and I, I text anytime or no problem. Okay. So I'm going to check the attendance list. And I need you to say, hi, hello, good evening. Present, I'm alive. And after, please uh, remember to say one of these phrases. Okay. I know that Alex Ramirez is not available. Ana Raquel, hello. Okay, not Ana Raquel. Vicky? Present, anytime. Thank you, Vicky, perfect. Uh, Brandon, I guess Brandon is not here, right? Okay, because I don't see Brandon. Okay, let's move to 
Well, Denise is not here. She's going to be here with, with us in a moment. Freddy's. Hello, Freddy's. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, no problem. Oh, that's it. Easy, right? No problem. That's good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Freddy's. Uh, okay. Well, <clears throat> Alberto, I guess, is not here, right? Ernesto is driving. Uh, Luis Eduardo Reyes. I don't know. Uh, what about, well, Majo, I know that uh, she's going yeah. to help. Good evening. Uh, um, no worries. Thank you, Majo. Uh, we have Maritza. I don't know if Maritza is there. Hi, teacher. Hello. What Hi, Maritza. Morning. You got it. Okay, thank you. One question, Maritza. Can you participate tonight? Yes, yes. Este, ya no lo cambié, ¿verdad? Ya lo voy a cambiar. Okay, thank you, Maritza. Very nice. Uh, Miguel, I don't know if Miguel is here. Okay, maybe not. But now, uh, Morelia, yes, right, Morelia? Good evening, and don't mention it. Perfect, that's it. Nancy, I don't know if Nancy is here to start. No, Nancy, okay. Okay. Que cariñoso, Morelia. Remember to turn your microphone Sorry. off. <laughs> Yo como que era mi conciencia. Okay, sometimes we have some accidents with the microphone. Okay, so. Freddy estaba bien sonriente, ya me lo van a regañar. Ok. Um, here, sorry, no, no es tu culpa, Freddy. Ok, Nan Nancy. <ríe> no, right. Eh, Ro Robert, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. You got it. Perfect. And Roxana. Please, Roxana, hi. Hi. Don't mention it. Perfect. Thank you. Ok. These are the... The ways, remember, you can say you're welcome. No problem. There's no problem by using uh, you're welcome. But you have some other options in which you can, your English may sound like differently, okay? Well, let's go with this. The first thinking activity, what is the funniest thing some friends or relatives have done? I'm not talking about you necessarily, but if you want to talk about yourself, uh, good, okay? So I need you to chat, or I'm sorry, to text, uh, to write your answers in the chat, and then we're going to read them all, okay? I'm going to be waiting. Lo más gracioso que han hecho o que les ha pasado a tus amigos o familiares.
Okay, I have seen you, Albert. Uh, okay, Maritza is the first one, but we're going to wait a little bit, okay, Maritza, because there are some other participants. Vamos a esperar un poquito más mientras tenemos las demás respuestas. Okay, we're going to start with Maritza, please. Could you read your answer? I guess this question is very like funny, interesting because it is about anecdotes or stories. Please. Okay, uh, hi guys, good evening. Um, good evening. In mm -hmm. my case, the funniest thing was when we went to a birthday party and with my family and they played a game for adults and the games was to dance around some some chairs and when the music stopped they had to sit down the funniest thing was when the music stopped and so as quickly as they sat down the chairs broke and they fell to the floor Okay, so, come on. Well, they were they chubby? Eran como gorditos, kind of fat yeah. or not? <laughs> yes, that that's the reason. But come on, now plastic chairs. Well, it it was was it a plastic chair? Plastic chairs. Okay, yeah. now are delicate. They are like fragile, but yeah, they were kind of. It is kind <laughs> of dangerous uh, game for chubby uh people right okay was your relative or friend um relative okay chubby mm -hmm. is rellenito fat is chubby? gordo chubby. Mm -hmm. a chubby person okay thank you maritza okay i'm so sorry for for him okay come on let's go with vicky and then freddy's thank you Okay, Vicky. Okay, I go. What to read? Um, the um, funniest thing that happened with my friend has been during the fire war when we were in mangrove, mangroves. Mm -hmm. And many times we have fallen into the mood and mm -hmm. we have gotten stuck in the mood. Stuck in the mood. Mood is lodo, right? Uh -huh. Okay. That, that has been really fun because it's difficult to walk in the mood. Yes, it's difficult. Did you fell <laughs> down? ¿Se baby. cayeron alguna vez? Did you fell down? Sí. Yes, okay. Yes, a lot of time. A lot of time. For day, so. <laughs> okay. So it is kind of, well, something that you never forget. 
anecdotes <laughs> and stories that you're going to tell to to your son, your relatives, friends, and that's it. Okay, but that happened. Well, how long time? Well, how long was it? One year, two years? This mm. year? Every year is is it's similar. Yes, because well, we go a uh, two or three or three times in the year for the uh -huh. month. Okay, mm -hmm. it is like every year, three times yes, you year. have to to visit. That. Yes. Mm -hmm. sí. Okay, well, you have some stories, uh, to think to to say. Okay, so well, thank you, Vicky. Uh, I recommend you to be ready with your camera the last the, the, the next time and take photographs or videos. Come on. That is something that you can have it for memories. Thank you, Vicky. Okay. Um we go with Freddy's and then Brandon. Uh good evening, guys. The what is the furniture thing some friend or relative have done? It's hitting a pole for looking at your cell phone in the street. On the it, street. On the street. Okay. Yes. On the street. You were concentrated. Uh, well, concentrated. Yeah. And it's, suddenly. Okay. Yes. Looking oh. at the your cell phone the, is cell phone. It, oh. hitting in. Okay. Pole. I can imagine. Two questions. One. Did you find the cell phone? Yes. Did you find it? Yes, there is a cell phone. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Question number two. Did people see you? People around? They noticed? Did they notice that you hit the pool? La gente se yes. Pasa? Yes, I guess that. Cuando ya tenían el post. <laughs> wow. I'm so sorry about that. That's embarrassing, but okay. Because when you are alone, it is like nobody see you, sees you. So no problem. But when you have public, when you have public, yeah, it is it is it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Uh, the event is in front of the Metro Centro. Ah, Metro Centro Mall. Mm -hmm. Mall is Centro Comercial. Okay, so yeah. Metro Centro is commonly full of people. It's crowded. Yes. So, yes. I'm so it's sorry, Freddy. It's a lesson for you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank Brandon you. and then Roxana. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. For me, the most fun hunting I've done with my friend is play soccer in the street when it's raining. Mm-hmm. Okay, it is like uh, very nice. Uh, did you have you ever got gotten sick because of that? The flu or the cold because of the rain? Oh. No, that's no. nice. Okay, that's nice. Just one detail, Brandon. The funniest, funniest, funniest. Mm -hmm. because it's a funniest. short, rel mm -hmm. uh, short adjective. But okay, thank you. Okay, um, tell me. How how much time have you no the question is how long was it? How long that you used to play soccer on the street? Because now it is not common. I don't when, remember maybe when you were a kid. Yeah, mm -hmm. 10 or 12 years ago. Yeah. Okay, because now I don't see kids playing. It is well, like strange. Yeah. The, mm -hmm. the 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 kids. Now only play with with her, her cell phone. Cell phones and that's video, it. Game, play yeah. video games. Not they they the prefer they prefer a uh, yes, like some other games, right? Right, Freddy. Did you play on street, Freddy, when you were a kid? Yes. Yes, right. It is like yes. it was common. It was. Yes. Like, it's normally. Mm -hmm. uh, because the franchise, the field, 
the field is lejos. <laughs> far away, yes. The, the far field, away. The field uh -huh, um, is far. The field yeah. is far. So uh, you have time sometimes at night, right? At night. Yeah. So have some time you can play. That was really good. But now. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's oh, it is very good. It's funny with it my friend. It's really fun. Yes. And uh, take uh, take into account two things. One, the kids like video games, especially from cell phones. And number two is that now we have more cars and more motorcycles. Oh. Yes. So, yeah, that's another aspect that, have, uh, that has impact. Because in the past, there were cars, but there were few cars. But now a lot of cars passing and passing the motorcycles. So, it is something that also it's kind of difficult to play with that. Thank you, Fred, for your comment and Brandon for your uh, answer. Roxana and then Morelia. Okay, Roxana. Okay. Once a partner wore a different shoe, and we have to say here that the shoes were different. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay. Tell me how old is that par partner? How old is he or she? She is she, 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 um, 20, no, no, sorry, 45 years old. Yes, yes, 45. Okay, that, okay. I will tell you two <laughs> things. Uh, it happens once, uh, mainly for girls or yes. for women. You know why? Because boys, normally, we have to tie because we have strings. <laughs> Eh, cordones, eh, tenemos cintas, so strings. We have to make notes, but the girls they just put right the foot and they go eh, running. So yes. that that happens mainly for girls or or women. And in that case, yeah, I have I <laughs> I have a friend like she's forty one, and she she did that two times. Imagine she did it. Was funny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> hey, what, what can she do? ¿Qué podría hacer? Nothing more. Nothing. No, no. continue. Continue working. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you, Roxana. Okay. Uh, did you take Did you take photographs, pictures? No. Come no. on. No. You have to take advantage. <laughs> that is something. Yes, an anecdote. Okay. Thank you, Roxana. Okay. Okay. Um, we go with Morelia. Hi. Hello there. <laughs> Everything Sorry. okay? Yes, I think so. Yes. Okay. Um, in my work was an Italian doctor. Mm -hmm. One of the funniest moments was when we were trying to teach her about Salvadorian words. Yep. Explain the mean was a little difficult, but we allowed a lot. Okay. Tell me one of the yeah. phrases that she because she was a doctor, right? She is a she's an Italian she's a doctor. doctor. Italian doctor. She's an Italian yeah. doctor. Okay. Tell me one or two words that maybe was strange or confusing for her, maybe difficult for her to pronounce or to understand. Uh the pronounce was very good. Very good. She, uh -huh. she pronounced very good. But get the mean was so difficult okay. for example to say volado yeah volado eh, volado, volado is... we, we explained that volado is everything it's but everything not and nothing. at the same time <laughs> yeah yeah, volado, yeah. Is a... volado was very difficult and the mean of maje ah yeah yeah, yeah. Freddy, because... Freddy, Freddy is laughing because he uses that word. I cannot notice that he uses that word. <laughs> yes, because we explained that mahe is for insult other people, other yeah. person, yeah, but mahe is to call to our best friend, for example. <laughs> um, it's normally the so... best yeah. friend. Yeah, yeah, so she asked us what is the the best moment to use that word? The context. So we which said depend. Depends. Everything depends, right? Yeah. The the word, yeah. 
I don't know. Uh, thank you, Morelia. Very nice. It is e interesting and funny when an, a person from another country or a person who speaks another language is learning um, Salvadorian words, right? Yes. Yes. It, it is like, ah, volado. Yes. Uh, uh, the word maje, for example, I don't know when it appeared, when the word was created. I don't know. But maybe I I can say that I have no no I have used no I have heard I have heard yeah. that the word maybe twenty no more maybe twenty five years ago I remember that I started <laughs> listening to that but I don't know I don't know but even that the word is for insulting a person or calling your friend right yeah so it's kind of similar to the word way for Mexicans, right? It's kind of kind of similar, right? So, wow. yeah. Thank you, Morelia. Um, talking about this, uh, it's an interesting topic that Morelia uh, talks, for example, and something that I, I wanted to explain to you since the first class, but uh, I couldn't. We, as Salvadorian, we short the words, acortamos palabras. For example, do we say esperame? How, what word do we use? Perate. Esperame. Perate. Yeah. We don't say esperame, esperate. We say perate. Perate. Ok. Yeah. Another word. We don't say verdad. We say verá. Yeah. Verá or va. Va que sí. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we yeah. use this. Oh, this is kind of difficult for, for some yeah. other uh, yeah, people. Hello? Okay, so yeah, and there are some other words that we use uh, like this, and it is kind of complicated. For example, utualito, I have heard that, that it means recently, yeah. significa ahorita. Utualito. Utualito. Yeah. Uh, and we, we have a lot of, well, nicknames in Spanish are so beautiful. Los apodos en español are, well, they are so part of the beauty of our literature and yeah right Morelia Morelia looks like she invents como que se, se las invent. so in, in English normally yeah there is the, the, there is kind of bullying but in Spanish we we can use sarcastic nicknames right like and so on so well part of this is uh, explaining something else uh, there are different forms to call cerdo in Spanish we can say puerco, porcino, cuche, marrano we can use different words okay, in English we say pig pig when we call a dog in Spanish perro, chucho, kaiser firulais, canino but in English, it's dog. So that uh, number or words that we use make makes dif difficult Spanish, in my in my point of view. It is kind of complicated, right? So when you listen a person speaking Spanish, uh, we have to clap to him or to her because it is really difficult or try to understand, but well. Now Morelia knows right volado and the other word the other favorite word from freddy's okay thank you uh my friends well at the end morelia did that person understand the word now yes yeah. yeah, she learned a lot does she use those that th these words or those words yes she <laughs> used that ah she is yes. He says and, volado and más or now. Now and 
also say um I what is this this word? She said but she says va pues. Ah, va pues. And uh -huh, or oh uh, she learned a lot of, of words and, and now she's she adapted. That. Very good. Nice. Yeah. You can adapt if you travel to the United States and you um have your objective of learning English, believe me, you all of you can learn very fast and adapt. But it is a, a purpose for, for every person. So thank you, Morelia. Okay, we're You're going welcome. to continue. Okay. And here we have a worksheet from Yesterday, I was explaining this about adjectives and comparatives. I know that you already know this, but I, I, I want to just make emphasis in some aspects. For example, we have two types of adjectives, short adjectives and long adjectives, adjetivos cortos y largos. Short adjectives, we add just ER, solo le agregamos ER a los adjetivos cortos, okay? Angry, angrier, uh, we, we say cheap, cheaper than, fat, fatter than. But for long adjectives, we add the word more. Le agregamos more, que significa más. More famous than, more modern uh, than, uh, more wonderful than. So these are some of the examples how we change. Here we have some other chart. Can you see? This is one syllable. But here we have fast, young, nice, late, big, food, happy, crazy. And we have two or more syllables. Famous, beautiful, good. Okay. Aquí tenemos unos ejemplos. Y eso me gustaría que los anotara. Common exceptions. These are exceptions to the rule. We have good. We don't say gooder than. Decimos better than. We don't say bad, bother. We say worse. For example, uh, who said majo, I guess, said so the stereo is better than, than Caifanes, right? So you can say Sonora Dinamita is better than Aniceto Molina. Or Leo Dan is better than Vicente Fernandez. It's just examples. We don't say good. Como es un, verbo, un adjetivo corto, we don't say gooder, mm -mm. we say better, better than, mejor que, or worse than. Okay, one example can be carrots are better than onions. Okay. Um, or we can say onions are worse than carrots. What am I saying here? ¿Qué estoy diciendo acá? En la primera estamos diciendo que las zanahorias son mejores que las cebollas. Y abajo digo que las cebollas son peores que las zanahorias. I don't know if you get the idea. This is a comparison, okay? This is a comparison between, between two things. In this case, uh, vegetables, we are comparing vegetables, okay? So, look at this. Better and worse. Then we have superlatives. De ahí tenemos los superlativos. The best, the worst, but this is something that we're going to study later, okay? Well, we continue. Better, here we have better and worse. Maybe we can have uh, some sentences using this. Select you, better or worse, and text a sentence here. You can talk about pupusas, tamales, uh, soccer teams. You can talk about music, songs, artists, places, uh, food, drinks. You can talk about fruits, animals, vegetables, colors, clothes. Um, what else? Computers, brands, marcas. You can talk about brands, of course. Uh, so tell me, select one, better or worse? 
I would like you to to select words, but if you want to use better, it's okay. Here we have my sentence as an example. I need your examples, please. Here, use the chat. Let's see. Old music is better than reggaeton. Okay, Roxana, thank you. Interesting point. Orchata is better than barley. What is barley, uh, Brandon? I don't know, what is that? Is it a drinking, right? A drink. Well, maybe you can explain us. Vicky says, Silvio Rodriguez, is, en lugar de es, is better than Joaquín Sabina. Mm. Okay, Vicky, that's a, a big discussion. It's a, a big discussion because I love Joaquín Sabina, but okay, let's say, because Silvio Rodriguez is a good one. So, yes. But it's a good example. It's complicated. It's really complicated. It's like comparing so the stereo in, 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 in Héroes del Silencio. It is like that, it's kind of difficult. Morelia, pupusas are better than pizza. Definitely, yes, and they are cheaper. Cheaper, okay. Um, Maria is more jealous than Sara. Okay, Maritza, this is strange <laughs> example, but okay. I don't know who, I don't know who is Maria. I don't know if Majo, thank you. Albert says, the elephant is bigger than the mouse. The mouse is... Not bigger than elephant. Okay, thank you. Okay. Ernest, uh, love is better than hate. Yes, Ernest. Maritza, okay, Maritza. Freddy, Yamaha is better than Nova. Definitely, yes. Freddy, yes, I agree. Yamaha is better. Andro is better than iOS. Okay, Robert. Well, I, I have not. I have not, well, I just have Android. I didn't have any iPhone or iOS uh, system, but people say, yes, Android is better. People say that as well. Okay, thank you. Uh, we're using better, right? Better or worse. That's it. And now let's continue because we have some other exercises that, I know that they're going to be very easy, okay? Um, now, 
Here we have this. Solo lo vamos a ver rápido. Small, smaller. Cold, colder. Young, younger. But here we have also safe, safer, nice, nicer, close, closer. Easy example, right? Uh, Maritza says a motorcycle is heavier than a cow. I don't know, Maritza. Una motocicleta es más pesada que una vaca. Mm, I don't think. Freddy's? Maybe not, right? Depends on the cow. <laughs> Depende la vaca. Maybe the, depend on the on motorcycle. Yeah, it depends on the motorcycle, yes, because there yes, are some others. Yes, si yes right. de, de turismo, sí. Yes, right. Yes. Okay. Could it be? Thank you. Uh, let's continue. And here we have this. These exceptions are kind of important. Look at this. When we have one syllable, but we have consonant, vowel. Consonant, cuando tenemos consonante vocal, consonante como hot, big, fat, solo tres letras. In this case, we're going to add another last consonant. Hot, hotter, with double T. Big, bigger, with double G. Fat, fatter. Okay? Uh, I am always a little fatter after holidays. My town is bigger than before and so on. Okay, this is important. Next. With the two uh, syllable ends in Y, cuando termina en Y. Happy, happier, angry, angrier, pretty, prettier. Okay? Are you, you are checking these um, examples, right? So we can have a better idea about this. And the last one. This is very easy. Dangerous, more dangerous. Expensive, more expensive. Difficult, more difficult. Okay? So here we have the, the irregular or exceptions, okay? Good, better, bad, worse, okay? We are done. Well, let's see. We have to complete with the comparatives we have from letter A to letter M. Remember, green car and red car. There are comparisons. Please, here we have, check here. In the parentheses, we have the adjective. We have to more, uh, we have to change the adjective. For example, if we have uh, funny, funnier than. If we have happy, happier than. Select. You select the sentences that you want to complete. You tell me, okay? You can raise your hand. You can say, me, teacher. And we're going to complete this. Take a look at the, to the sentences. Okay, uh, Roxana, please. What letter? Hey, the green okay. card is... Smaller than the red car. Yes, the green car is smaller than the red car. Yeah. Okay, uh, who else? Thank you, Roxana. Brandon, go ahead. Little B, the red car is bigger than the green car. Yes, it is like the opposite, if you notice, right? It's the opposite. Yes. Mm, thank you. Bigger. Okay, let's continue with the others. I recommend you to have two options because sometimes uh, your partners are going to select one sentence and you may say, teacher, that was my sentence. I was going to say that. Okay. Teacher, the letter C. Please. Is a uh, shipper. Okay, yeah, because it's like, it looks like relaxed, yeah, cheaper. Thank you. Cheaper. Uh -huh. cheaper. Mm -hmm. Cheap. Cheaper. The the opposite is expensive. Mm -hmm. So, thank you. Who else? Morelia? Me. The mm -hmm. letter J or okay. it's an order? No, no. Depends on you. What, what letter? The letter J. Driving the green car is more dangerous than driving the real one. 
Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's it. Good. Uh, Morelia, who else? Letter D. D, okay. Uh, the red car is more expensive mm -hmm. than the green car. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Vicky. Very nice. Yeah, more expensive. Okay, who else? I'm waiting for the others. Remember, we have more sentences for you. We have Ernest. Uh, we have Albert. Maybe Maritza. Pastor. Okay, what well, letter E? Mm -hmm. All right. E. Pastor. Okay. I think that the red car is faster than the green one. Thank you. Okay. What about Maritza? I'm waiting for your answer, Maritza and Roberto. A letter um, F. Mm -hmm. F. The green car is slower than the red one. Yes. Slower. Thank you. Okay. What about you, Robert and Ernest? A little H Okay, we go with Robert and then Brando. Okay, please, in that order, Robert and then Brando. Tell me, Robert. Okay, G, the okay. red car is much, much better. Okay, we have two and options. Car. We can say better or much better. Yes, of course, we can use much better, but much better is when you want to make like more emphasis but yes it is okay of course thank you brandon and then albert the green i'm not i'm sorry is... uh, brandon and ernest yes brandon okay the green card is much worse than the red one small yes. h thank you better tenemos better como lo dijo as robert said and we have worse as Brandon says. Uh, okay, Ernest, what about you? Do you have anyone? Letter K. Okay. Driving the red car is more safer mm -hmm. than driving the green one. Okay. In this case, it will be just safer. Mm -hmm. Because it is one syllable. Safer. Thank you. And, well... Denise, I don't know if you're available now. Or maybe, well, if Denise is not available, let's move to. Hi, hi. Hello there. I, I'm just, hi, I'm here, but I, I don't know what are we going to do. <laughs> okay, we are changing the adjectives in parentheses in this. If the adjective is short, we add er, for example, smaller. If the adjective is long, we add more in the adjective, for example, more expensive. Select one, letter mm -hmm. I, L, or M, depends mm -hmm. on you. Um, L. Okay, dirty. The green, the green car is dirtier. Yes. I think. <laughs> and the red one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Denise. And obviously, here we have modern letter I. The red car. What do you think, Freddy? Uh, letter is, I. Is the red car is more mm -hmm. modern that green yes. one? Of course. And we go with the last one, clean. What do you think in this case, Maritza yeah. or Albert, or Albert, depends on you. Albert, are you ready? The, the red car is cleaner. Yeah. Find the green one. Yes, cleaner. 
Thank you. So if you notice, it is not that difficult. So next week, may, we are supposed to study superlative adjectives. So it's going to be easier for you. Okay. Let's move to another activity that we have here. We have um, studied adjectives. And here we have this. Look, yesterday we we're studying this, right? Uh, how to use adverbs in transition expressions, okay? And transition words are used to connect phrases, sentences, or ideas. In this case, here we have first, after that, afterwards, then finally, okay? So, uh, taking into account these phrases, we know how we use these phrases. And here we have some other exercise. How to create an effective training manual. Okay, how to create an effective training manual. Okay, you tell me what words can we use for this text. We are going to use the same words that we have used before to connect, to connect the ideas, right? You tell me who wants to start the same words that we have been using before. First. Mm -hmm. Definitely, right? Can you read the first sentence, please, Denise? Okay. First, you have to complete an analysis of the training needs of your employee and choose the processes you would like to improve in your company. Thank you. Okay, yes. That's really good. Okay, who's next? Who continues? That's kind of easy, right? Me? Okay, uh, Morelia. Um, maybe second? We can it's... use second. Aunque no está ahí, but yes, it's an adverb. Es un adverbio. Of course, okay. take on. It is necessary to write the content and divide divide it in models or, or chapters. Chapters, that's it. Thank you very much. Nice. Predis, your turn. Um, second. Um... You can use the words that we have studied before. For example, also. Also. Okay, here we have first, after that, instead of after that, we can say second, uh, okay. afterwards, then finally. What do you think? After that. Okay, we can say after, after that. that. You need to select a manual still on design if extra digital. But content. Okay. Uh, this after uh, that after that thank you mm -hmm. okay. and it's necessary right thank you thank you very much and what is vicky what is the last word that we can use finally in this? yes right easy please yeah. facile easy finally. Bingo. finally okay re revise the manual and print it okay your case I need you to tell me something in your case did you have an effective training I'm not talking the manual I mean the capacitation the workshops the induction for your job I don't know if you had it uh, Brandon, in your job, did you have a good induction or capacitation workshops no, about your I functions? Acerca de ustedes, lo que ustedes hacen, se les capacitó bien in your companies? No, I don't have. Uh, okay, no capacitations, no inductions. No. Thank you, Vicky. What about you? Did you have inductions? Did you receive workshops about your job? about the functions, the things that you have to do? Uh, sometimes we, we have a workshop, but it's a specific. For this, uh, 
it is not focused on specifically for 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 these things it's uh -huh. worship it's for other other aspects maybe yes for other topics okay for for the work in the Thank office. you. Okay, yes, because if you notice, I, I consider that those workshops are good. Maybe they can help you in some other uh, aspects in your job, but not necessarily about your function. Thank you. What about you, Fredis? Did you receive capacitations, inductions, workshops about your job? Yes, teacher. Mm. I received a specific capacitation. The, Very nice. Uh, that, that's wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Two people say no. Uh, one says yes. What about Robert? In your case, Robert? Uh, yes, teacher. In my work, there is many uh, courses. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, the, there are many courses. Mm -hmm. That help you, right? That help you to, for, to your job. Thank you. And what about Morelia? I didn't have uh, courses or other kind of uh, or in inductions, <laughs> workshops about your job. No, no, just my partner told me you're going to do this, 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 and this, and just Thank you okay. <laughs> I know. Uh, okay, you you are a fast learner. Good, Morelia. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. What about Denise? Are you there, Denise? Yes, I'm here. Um, in my case, I had an induction, but only about um, maybe human resources, about the benefits that we have, the manual. Um, I don't know how to say. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> that's it. Uh -huh, the, the behavior is from, yeah. from, yeah, behavior, attitudes, okay, like, like this. Thank you, Denise. Um, Ernest, what about you? Did you have inductions? <coughs> Hi, hello. Yes, in my case, I have a training, complete a complete trainer when wow. I uh, start to work in my actual job. Mm -hmm. In your current job. Okay, so Freddy's my... uh, mm -hmm. current job. Freddy's and Ernest, yes. And Denise, mm, she has some workshops, but related to the behavior space specifically. Albert, what about you? Did you yes, receive yes. induction? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, but only because in the focus on the montage, montage area more than everything. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Another point. Maritza, what about you? Did you receive capacitations or something like that? Yes. Uh, in my job, there is a new project and I am receiving a capacitation with my co-workers via, via Zoom. Mm -hmm. And the capacitation is about employees' attendees mm -hmm. via... Uh, how do you say reconocimiento facial? Uh, Face recognizing. Face recognizing. Face ID. Face ID uh -huh. could be okay. Face Very ID. nice, Maritza. Okay, thank you. That's another point. And Roxana, what about, thank you. Roxana, what about you? Yes, we have capacitation. One or two, three times in a year. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Yes. And I hope the capacitations, workshops, or trainings really help you for your job because I was working like 10 years ago. I received a lot of capacitations and workshops, but those uh, topics were not like so helpful in my job. Yes, they were good, but no, the ones that I needed at that time. So what are we going to do? We're going to create an effective training manual. Imagine you travel in time and you can give a manual to yourself before you started in that company, for example. Let's imagine that Brandon can travel 
uh, in time and he goes back when he began in that company. And Brandon says, here you have a manual so you can have a better idea what to do. Imagínense entregarles a ustedes mismos un manual donde está claramente algunas cosas que ustedes les van a ayudar. Claves. Okay, we're going to do that. And we're going to do it by using first, after that, final, then, afterwards. You can use second. You can use like this. No, it is not necessary. It is not necessary to make a big, create a big paragraph. And we're going to focus on some aspects, for example. We have to give advice and suggestions. Ese manual tiene que ir como con consejos y con sugerencias que les podrían servir a ustedes. In my, well, in my case, if I travel in time and I give some advice to myself when I was younger, I could say, okay, respect the dates, prepare as much as possible, develop more skills, okay? Uh, try to have everything in a hard disk or in your computer or in drive and some other tips, okay? So you're going to create an effective training manual for your company, but specifically for yourself. Como que si ustedes entregaran un manual de capacitación donde den Cinco tips, cinco consejos para ustedes mismos. ¿Ok? Podría ser. Uh -huh. Podría ser también. And I'm explaining this in Spanish so you, you, you don't have doubt. Right? The process you have to follow in your workplace. For example, when I started working in one company, I, I couldn't, I, I didn't know the, the offices. I didn't know the people that I have to present my reports or something like this. Tuve un trabajo que ni, ni me presentaron al, al personal. Imagine. So I was asking, excuse me, sir, are you in charge of this unit? Are you the manager? Are you? So in that way, it is difficult when you want to, when you have to present inventory reports, um, some, yeah, some statistics, different things. Okay. So if you want, you can use like advice or suggestions or you can describe the process you have to follow in your workplace because you follow a process. Ustedes siguen un proceso in your job. There are different things. You don't go and do whatever you think. There is a process, okay? So let's do it and then we present it in the chat, okay? Please, I'm going to give you like eight or nine minutes, please. Uh, if you need something, I'm going to be here, okay? If you want to say something in English or if you have some difficulties, okay? Here is an example. Remember, uh, you can use some other words. For example, afterwards, in the, okay? And I'm going to write some other phrases for you to help. Esta frase les pueden ayudar. Important or mandatory is the same. Do not forget, do this. You have to you need to you should You have to, tienes que hacer, you need to, tienes que hacer esto. 
you should, tú deberías, you must, tú debes. So, these phrases can help you to have another view about your manual, okay? I'm going to be here waiting for your effective training manual.
Okay, here we have the first. Morelia is ready. I'm waiting for the others. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. Okay, I know that you're about to finish. Relax. Um, in four minutes, we're going to to check all you have. Vamos a ver lo en cuatro minutos. Okay, just relax. But in four minutes, we're going to read all the paragraph that you have. If you have any questions, I can help you.
Okay, meanwhile, the others are still preparing your manuals. We're going to start with Morelia and then Robert. And then we're going to read the other ones that I'm sure that you are about to finish. Morelia, could you read yours, please? And then we go with Robert. Yes. Um, my worries. Okay. First, it's mandatory to create a good laboral space. After that, we need all our employees have an induction to work in the factory. It's important to have, have a manual explain the rules and benefits. Finally, the manager have to explain the manual to all the employees. Very nice, including the things that in the past, uh, this could be really, this could have been important to you in any period of your life, right? When you started working there. So thank you, Marlene. I like it. Robert and then Roxana. Okay, Robert. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, in my line work, many parents are interested in the academic record of his children. Yeah. But sometimes when he's present a poor academic record, they get angry or upset with mm -hmm. the teachers. Yes. About this, mm -hmm. I advise some steps to solve this problem. Mm -hmm. First, constantly report on the students' result and do not wait until the end of the year. Yeah. After that, try to help to the student to improve his results. Then schedule interviews with parents to see our agreements. And finally, answer any question by emails or other means. Perfect. Yeah, I like it, Robert. I, in this case, well, just one thing, sign, sign agreements. Yes, it, when I was a young teacher, I would like to, well, I would have liked to have this, like in the past, like to know, for example, report immediately if some students have difficulties, right? And sometimes uh, we wait until the end of the year and then that is when the problem comes like in uh, worse because the parent says, but you never talk to me uh, about this or my kidneys, another opportunity, and so on. And sign agreements, this is really important, but really important, of course. So you are free of any problem later. Thank you, Robert. And uh, Roxana and Denise. Okay, Roxana. Okay, first you have to check if you have a good connection with the internet. Second, you must have to carry a very good computer with the only information you need. You should be sure the system works very well. Also, you have to carry a good cellular for not have problems to communicate. For not having, <laughs> having, having problems. Yes, of course. So important in your case, good connection, cell phone, okay, system works. Yes. Yeah, so important that, okay. Very important. Did you have problems with this in the past? Yes, we mm -hmm. have many problems. Yeah, that's it. So that's experience. The experience. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, Denise and then Fredis. Okay, Denise, please. Okay. Uh, process in my job to get inside the office, you have to pass your ID card to open. Don't forget to make sure the door closed. Then at your place, you have to connect your computer to the network to have access. Remember, in case you have to leave your computer, remember to block the system first. At lunch, you have to save all your stuff in the desk and lock it. Remember, never write your user and passwords in a post-it or leave important information on your desk without supervision. At the end of the day, you have to turn off your computer completely and lock your desk. Thank you. Any problem that you have related to one of these things that you you can say this was a bit, this problem affected me in such a way? Actually, actually, no, I didn't have any problem with that. Okay. Because, 
yes, we have like a reviewer every month and you can have like a, a no sé cómo se dice, amonestación. Yeah, like amonestation or a warning. A, a warning, okay. yes, if you don't if you don't do that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, it is because you are saving uh, after these things. Thank you, Dennis. Very good and very detailed. And Freddy, please, your turn, my friend. Okay. The manual of the world. Number one, important following the rulers in the cable. Number two, clean the tire, the decks. Um, Number three, always check the mail and pending task. Number four is send the detail the production report the boss. Number five, review inventory of raw material for the shadow planning of the world the morning. Okay, thank and you. The, mm -hmm. And, in, and finally, the morning, the cup coffee. <laughs> cup coffee is so important. Thank you. Um, I guess point number three in your case, Freddy, is always check emails pen, and pending tasks. I, have, I consider that we all have had this problem, like an email that we didn't see, an email that we didn't check. And then we have some problems after that. It can be assignments. It can be something that is very uh, urgent or it is like an emergency and we didn't see it. So yeah. uh, there are some details, right? The, the check email is important the, in the morning because the emergency is attended. Mm -hmm. That's it. Attended. That's and uh, you have to answer or respond, right, to, to, to the email. So uh, the other person knows that you are trying to work with this. Thank you for this. Very concrete. Thank you. Very nice. Okay, yeah. thank you. Well done. Brandon, please, and then Albert. Okay, Brandon. Okay, teacher. Um, okay, uh, let's see. Okay, first you have to make enter with your fingerprint or your face at the last five or 10 minutes before the entry time. Then you have to put on the uniform, provide the HR and prepare your tools. All colleagues will teach you how to use the tools in case you don't know how to use them. Finally, you have to close out always using your fingerprint at the correct Depart your time before now. Okay. Um, a question, Brandon. You have to uh, mark with the finger fingerprint or your face at least five minutes. If you go and do that two minutes before the time when you start working, you, you could you have problems or difficulties? Uh, no problem, but I have a uh, right a uh, permission. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So yes. it is better to prevent, right? It is better to to take five or, or ten minutes, right, before time. Okay. Yes. Thank you. I like it. Yeah, that's it. Very good. Uh, Albert, and then Maritza. Okay, Albert. Okay, teacher. Uh, first, you should always inform the supervisor to mobilize the employees. Second, you should focus more on positive, positive orientation. Third, should implement new strategies for expansion. Exponer, ¿cómo sería? Expose, mm -hmm. expose. Expose. Um, for you, you, you should be nicer to the company staff. Or, or final, 
Don't forget to share all the information with your colleagues or partners to carry out the training. Uh, <clears throat> Thank you. Yes, um, there is an, an one aspect that you said. Don't forget to share all the information with your co colleagues. <clears throat> yeah, uh, especially if you work in teams, if you work with um, some other people, you have to be connected with the same information and the, the same aspects to take into account. Thank you, Albert. And we go with Maritza and then Vicky. Okay, Maritza, please, your turn. Hi. Well, in my new work project is about assistant with facial ID. First, you need to enter the app with your cell phone. By the way, you must have internet. Then select the location box and choose the store in the in, 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 in employee. Who will take uh, the attendance? After that, you must take a photo of of an of employee, so that the attendance is automatic. Say, basically, uh, that's it. Yeah, very concrete, Maritza, and very compacted. Okay, uh, as I can see, it is so important to have internet, right? So so necessary, and the app. Okay, and practically it is a set of steps, right? Processes, and you oh, have okay. to do it in order, right? That's it, in order. <clears throat> Thank you, Maritza, very nice. And we're going to listen to Vicky. Okay, Vicky, show time. Okay, uh, this is, is for a training manual or for a specific topic is for handling found beers. Okay. Uh, first, take a beer with your hands. Second, check if the beer is in good health. If the beer does, does rec no require care, but can fly, put in, put in a closed box to rest. Um, then check it, check it, and see if it can fly. And finally, let let it fly. Very interesting. Key. Oh, oh, everything related to birds, and it is like everything is it's practice. Everything is contact, right? Checking, yes. evaluating, contact. It is like mm -hmm. very, very interesting. I like it. One question. Uh, yeah, tell me. No, tell me your comment. Uh, when bears are babies, they fall from trees. Mm -hmm, they fall, right? Uh huh. So and that's why the... you have to check if they are if they need some care, special See, attention, right? Sometimes the people they taking of the mm -hmm. the babies, but no, is correct. It's not correct, right? No, yes. Uh -huh. They have some necessities. One question to you, Vicky. Have you ever had a violent bird, an aggressive bird? Uh, can you repeat, teacher? Uh, have you ever had an experience with an a bird that is aggressive? It is violent? Uh, yes, some species are violet mm. for example is the um, I, uh, th there is one that is black completely that that is the, yes the the name is los carpinteros pájaros carpinteros they are, they are very violet. they are aggressive violet. yes aggressive oh. and los sanates Yes, you know sanates. The, uh -huh. that, that, that is the one that uh, one person told me. Sanates are very <laughs> aggressive. Songs, algunas también. ¿Cómo le llaman? En los tucanes, algunos. I, 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 I guess know. because of their peak, it is kind of dangerous. 
right? Because yes. they're very sharp. Tiene filo. They're mm -hmm. they're sharp. Sí. Sharpened. Okay. Um, many species are. Bio. Yeah, we have to take care. We don't have to just uh, have confidence and go. I'm going to check it. I am a boy scout. <laughs> yeah, yes. no, come on. Mm -hmm. so. We had a program for banding beers. Mm. Uh, Twelve or maybe fifteen years ago. And we put a banding in the or ring in the le leg. Mm -hmm. Okay. And many beers, like 500 beers. Wow, maybe. a lot, 500. It's a lot of beers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Vicky. Well, I, I guess we all have different uh, jobs, but in your case, you have to go to to different places, visit, you, I yes. guess you know a lot of places in Salvador. And well, I guess I noticed that you love your job. You like yes, I love. your job. It's, perfect, I like. I like to hear that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Vicky. Okay, uh, thanks all uh, for, for sharing. All your manuals are very interesting, but also they are personalized based on your own experiences. Imagine now you are you are available, no, you are able to train another person because you can say, okay, this is my advice. I suggest you, you should do this and that because you have experience. So that's why manuals have to be written or created by people like you that you have experience okay we have just 12 minutes and we say goodbye we're going to listen to an audio okay let's listen to this let's pay attention i'm going to play it twice so you can have opportunity to listen okay and then you tell me what is the topic and many uh, maybe some phrases some ideas because remember that audios are especially for understanding, for, for saying, oh, teacher, I heard this. Hmm. This person mentioned this word or this phrase, okay? So that's the main reason to, to work on listening, okay? Let's listen. Life. There is a great deal of worry around us the entire day, which makes it part of our brain's obstacles. The pressure can emerge at the office, at home, in certain relations, or in whatever else. While taking care of these sorts of pressure, people don't find the opportunity to see the excellence of life. We overlook that there is something more in our life, which is significant and wonderful. God has given us a lot of beneficial things like the magnificence of nature in our life. Okay. Let's listen for the second time. Life. There is a great deal of worry around us the entire day, which makes it part of our brain's obstacles. The pressure can emerge at the office, at home, in certain relations, or in whatever else. While taking care of these sorts of pressure, people don't find the opportunity to see the excellence of life. We overlook that there is something more in our life, which is significant and wonderful. God has given us a lot of beneficial things like the magnificence of nature in our life. And we're going to listen the last time. So to be sure about these uh, words or phrases or ideas. Life. There is a great deal of worry around us the entire day, which makes it part of our brain's obstacles. The pressure can emerge at the office, at home, in certain relations, or in whatever else. While taking care of these sorts of pressure, People don't find the opportunity to see the excellence of life. We overlook that there is something more in our life, which is significant and wonderful. 
God has given us a lot of beneficial things like the magnificence of nature in our life. Okay. Words, phrases, vocabulary, ideas. Um, the mm -hmm. phrase, if people don't find opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the um, opportunities overlook significant, wonderful, ben beneficial things, maybe. Yes. Thank you, Vicky. Good one. And who else? Okay. Maybe we can have one more participation about this because we have just eight minutes and we say goodbye. Maybe in this case, we can have Ernest, any word or phrase that you remember? Okay, Fredis, maybe, or Roxana. One word, una palabra. Uh, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. That's... Um, don't find the opportunity to, to see the excellent in life. Mm -hmm. Nice, life. That's the key word. Okay, thank you, my friends. Here we have this paragraph. It's about life. And we have one, two, three, four, five ideas. There is a great deal of worry around us in our day. The pressure can emerge in the office. While taking care of these sorts, we overlook that there is something more in our life, okay? And maybe the... Whatever else is the word that uh, Freddy's mentioned. People don't find the opportunity to see the excellence of life. Yeah, that's it. Because we are so stressful, we are thinking about different aspects that make us to be worried. So that's it. And the last one. God right. has given us yeah. a lot of beneficial things like the magnificence of nature in our life. Okay, my friends, we're going to say goodbye with this speaking activity. Famous phrases. Text, famous phrases. And that is going to be the last uh, attendance list. Así voy a revisar la lista de asistencia a través de sus frases, okay? And write the phrase and then we have to read it and we say goodbye. We have just, what? Six minutes. Okay, I'm going to give you like two minutes to do this, okay? So text it in the chat. We're going to read all the phrases and we say goodbye. Speaking activity two. Okay, we're going to start with some of the phrases that can be like important to you because it is like uh, any phrase that have impact in your life. 
We're going to start with uh, Vicky and then Denise. Okay, Vicky, please. And the phrase is, if you want something say as a man, if you want something done as a woman. Margaret a Thatcher, a woman. Margaret, Margaret Thatcher. Thatcher. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Very interesting. I guess I have heard that. Thank you, Vicky. Denise and Albert. Yes. <laughs> um, it is it is better to be alone than in bad company. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe it is. Uh, you don't know. Uh, it is anonymous. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Está cerrando ciclo, Denise. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go with it. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Albert and Maritza. Okay. <clears throat> Please to light and you will know how to do well. Confusion. Okay. Confusion, thank you. Maritza and Roxana. If you can dream it, you can do it. Well, what is okay, thank you. That's a good one. Hey, Roxana? Break a leg. Good luck. Okay, Roxana. Even I guess that it's a saying. This is my being common dicho, but okay. Uh, Freddy's and Morelia. Slowly, I'm going to hurry. Okay. Who know how to? Okay, I guess that's new for me. Thank you. Morelia and Robert. Well done is better than well said. Definitely, yes. Do you know the, the person who, who said that? No, I don't know. But it, it sounds re really interesting. Thank you. Okay, Robert. Hey, teacher. I don't understand the activity. No problem. I, really write, I write two phrases. Oh, do it. Uh, for example, when the American people want to say if something is easy, mm -hmm. they use the phrase, it's a piece of cake. Yes. And when he wants to say it is something is difficult, they say it's not a rocket science. Rocket science. Yes. And there is like a idiomatic expression, but it's okay, Robert. Thank you. Brandon okay. Thank you. and then Albert. It's better to be ignorant for five minutes than for lifetime. I agree. Totally agree. Thank you. Uh, Albert and Ernest. Okay. Ah, no, no. Ya me lo dijiste. You already participated, right? Yeah. Learn to live mm -hmm. and you will know how to die well. Thank you. Ernest, your turn. <laughs> Come on. Just do it. Just do it. Okay. Very pragmatic. Do the things. Thank you. Okay, my friends. And we're going to say goodbye. Just remember that in, tonight, Maritza, are you there? Hello, Maritza. Yes. Okay. I need you to, to wait after the class. Okay. Just a couple of minutes. We have the session. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And for the rest, remember to work on the platform. We uh we have to uh, I know that you sent some question. I'm going to check it. I promise you because this day was very but very complicated, um because of my other part time jobs, right? But I'm going to check it. Okay, and um see you on Monday that Morelli is going to present the song because tonight was kind of complicated for her, but right. on Monday. Okay, so for the rest see you. On Monday, have a good weekend. Enjoy it. Bye, my friends. Bye bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hola, Maritza. A ver, tú te me habías escondido, ¿verdad, Maritza? <laughs> ¿Y qué pasó con las otras clases? ¿Habías tenido dificultades para conectarte? 
Sí, fíjese que eh, a mí me llamaron. Eh, yo les comenté de que yo había estado trabajando entonces en las noches. Entonces yo por eso no me había podido conectar. Incluso un día de estos puse que iba a estar de oyente y ¿Sí? ya, ya ni conecté. Sí, sí, comprendo. ¿Y cómo vas a estar para, para el resto de, del curso? ¿Son horarios rotativos los que tienes o...? No, no sé. Que... Pues es que yo eh, tenía un trabajo atrasado de contabilidad, de contabilidad, entonces yo lo saqué aquí en mi casa, básicamente. Uh -huh. Pero yo digo que ya, o sea, ya en esta semana ya es todo, pues. Ya, por eso ya hoy, hoy me, me, me metí a la clase, ya todo bien, incluso. Y pues okay. ya estoy aquí. Ok, me alegra. Este, ya viste cómo es el formato de la clase, ¿verdad? Es un poquito diferente al teacher anterior, que la, sí. estoy seguro que el teacher anterior era muy bueno, ¿verdad? Eh, tiene bastante experiencia, aunque mi metodología es un poquito diferente. Eh, si te das cuenta, me gusta bastante la interacción, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Porque si yo estoy hablando, if I speak too much, it's like kind of boring, I don't like it. So I like to hear opinions, ideas, expressions, whatever. So, um, do you have any questions or difficulties topic? No sé si tienes algún tema o dificultades o algún tema que consideras. Ahorita no siento que ajá, los comparativos y superlativos eh, sí si los, si los he comprendido. Uh -huh. Y también las eh, palabras del first, after y todo eso, ¿verdad? Ajá, no, sí, sí. Eso sí, los conectores. Uh -huh. Sí. O sea, pero ahorita siento que estoy bien, igual en la plataforma, o sea, sí, sí la he estado haciendo. Y pues, o sea, oh. mi, mi mala racha ha sido esta semana. Mm, no te preocupes, este, anteriormente te estuviste conectando con normalidad. Sí, con el otro teacher. Ok, sí, lo que pasa es que como Zoom te toma en cuenta los minutos de conexión. Uh -huh. Entonces, para que no te afecte más adelante, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. eh, Maritza, ¿has tenido otros cursos en otros lados? Sí, fíjate que sí, yo estuve, cursé básico, básico 1 al 3 en e sí. Mm, qué bien, qué bien. Y hasta básico terminaste. Sí, ajá, lo terminé básico. Muy bien, sí te escucho buen vocabulario y buena pronunciación. Se escucha bastante bien, ¿verdad? Me... Es, es un buen cumplido. Sí, sí, Gracias. vas bien. Y eso que no has estado con como activa en las otras clases, espero que en esas otras clases sí estés, si te das cuenta, envío speaking activities para que se preparen, para no agarrarlos en curva, ¿verdad? Porque <risa> sí, a veces uno está un estresado, ocupado en otras cosas y, y a veces las ideas no fluyen, pero si desde antes ya se sabe eso, incluso algunos he dado cuenta que sí están mejorando porque están practicando palabras, o sea, se preparan para, para ¿verdad? Para participar. Entonces creo que esta metodología sí está funcionando y todo eso, ¿verdad? Este, no sé si te parece la clase, ¿verdad? Intento que sea un poquito interactiva. Móvil. Sí, sí, sí me por... gusta. Me alegra. Sí me gusta. Ok, me alegra, sí, porque después de trabajar, estar dos horas, no, no es tan fácil, ¿verdad? Y todo eso. No, a veces no. Pero ahí sí. vamos. Si no, oh. quieres salir adelante. Ok. Sí, Maritza, así que no dudo que vas a seguir aprendiendo. Es, también te das cuenta, al inicio le doy frases que son, o expresiones, que les pueden servir. Ah, sí, eso noté, eso noté el, el, en las dos clases. Bueno, el primer día que usted estuvo, eh, medio me conecté y sí, sí vi que, que puso unas frasecitas. Uh -huh. Y hoy pues ya le, le agarré la onda. ¿vale? Ya, <risa> eso. Es, ese es el punto. En la primera clase yo, yo vi que algunos se quedaron como que, what? ¿Qué, qué pasa aquí, <risa> verdad? Ajá. Sí, es, sí. Porque el formato del otro teacher es, es como que más detallado en ciertas actividades. Y a mí me gusta hacer actividades diferentes. Entonces, este, creo que vamos bien. Eh, cada clase siempre doy frases nuevas. Todas las clases. Y diferentes. Así que espero que puedas aprender un poquito más de vocabulario, eh, que mejores más su fluidez en el tema gramatical y, y sé que vas a mejorar mucho, ¿verdad? Tienes mucho potencial, Marita. Así que cualquier cosa, ahí está mi número, eh, cualquier problema, dificultad, ahí me escribes, ¿ok? Ok, muchas gracias y pues gracias por tomarse el tiempo, ¿verdad? Ahí estamos, Marita. Claro, ya bueno. está. ahí estamos para apoyar, ¿ok? Eh, pasa feliz fin de...
see you on Monday. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.